Hello there and welcome to this episode of Happy Birthday Wellness Quiz, uh, Day 172, Your Health Promotion and Disease Prevention Podcast brought to you by KK Afia. My name is Bidio Bogo, I'm a medical doctor and specialist in public health medicine. In today's episode, we're going to discuss how to screen for diabetes and pre-diabetes. A short quiz for which I will share the answer at the end of the episode. Diabetes is diagnosed if fasting or pre-meal blood sugar is greater than 126 milligrams per deciliter or higher, when the morning blood sugar or fasting plasma uh, glucose is more than 60 milligrams per deciliter or higher, when the morning blood sugar or fasting plasma glucose is more than 110 milligrams per deciliter or higher, or none of the above. I will share the answer at the end. Uh, diabetes is becoming a common problem uh, worldwide and it's defined as elevated blood sugar, which means either too much sugar in your bloodstream. Uh, it affects the way our cells use sugar and in particular glucose. Now, the food you eat usually turns into sugar, uh, which then needs to get into cells. So it's, it's a worldwide epidemic uh, and it's increasing most rapidly in Asia, Africa and South America. In type 1 diabetes, uh, the body doesn't make insulin and patients have to inject themselves with artificial insulin. Uh, in type 2 uh, diabetes, the pancreas doesn't make enough insulin and the insulin it makes doesn't work very well. Uh, with increase in childhood obesity, we are beginning to see type 2 diabetes in this age group. So, uh, remember, it's not just for adults, but it can also occur in children at type 2. In the long term, it causes hyperglycemia or, or too much blood glucose, can lead to damage of blood vessels, uh, blood vessels and nerves, leading to blindness, limb amputation, as well as kidney failure. One key feature of type, of type 2 diabetes is actually weight. So, it's very important that you know your BMI or body mass index. It has to be between 18 and 25. So anything above 25 uh, increases your risk of getting type 2 diabetes. Of course, there are other risk factors, uh, which I'll be discussing in a little while. So in terms of screening for type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes, it's basically recommended that all adults with a BMI above 25 who have either one of the following, any one of these risk factors should be screened using laboratory test. It should be done every three years and usually if you have a fasting plasma glu uh, glucose that is eight hours of fasting overnight which is blood is taken in the morning more than 126 milligrams per deciliter then you are considered to be diabetic but this test must be confirmed on a second occasion. So the risk factors for diabetes type 2 and prediabetes are one, are having a family history of type 2 diabetes. That is, uh, for example, if your parents, your siblings, or any of your close relatives has type 2 diabetes, then you're mostly also at risk. If you're older age, about 40 years, your risk also increases. If you are physically inactive, that is, if you don't participate in at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity three times a week, sorry, five times a week, then your risk of type 2 diabetes and diabetes increases. Now, moderate intensity activity things like brisk walking, uh, walking up and down the staircase, uh, so those are basically examples of moderate intensity activity. If you have the following ethnic group, Asian, African, Hispanic, or Native American ancestry, then your risk is also increased. If you've had high blood pressure in the past, more than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury, or you've had elevated type of blood, in the fat in the blood called triglycerides, above 50 milligrams per deciliter, or if your good cholesterol HDL has, has been below 35 milligrams per deciliter, then you also at increased risk. So if you had a past history of raised blood glucose, blood sugar, especially above 5.7. If you are a woman with a history of diabetes in pregnancy, 
or if you've never delivered babies uh, bigger than 4.5 kilograms or women who to call polycystic ovary syndrome so any of these plus overweight then you need to be screened because that increases your risk now uh, let me talk briefly about prediabetes uh, prediabetes is when you have high risk of developing diabetes and cardiovascular disease in the future and it's usually a group of people whose glucose or hb1c levels don't fit the criteria for diabetes but when it's too high to be considered normal uh, so usually diabetes is often associated with obesity either visceral abdominal obesity this one was seen here uh, as well as uh, uh, a dyslipidemia excess triglycerides uh, high blood pressure or low levels of good cholesterol hdl and usually uh, if you're using a1c test anything between 5.7 and 6.4 that considered prediabetes above 6.5 is considered diabetic uh, below 5.5 is considered normal so, so in terms of testing for diabetes and diabetes you have three options you can use the glycosylated hemoglobin a1c which i've discussed you can use the fasting plasma blood glucose or the two hour uh, what you call ODTT or uh, oral glucose tolerance test uh, in 2009 the internal and tertiary expert committee recommended the use of hba1c also called glycosylated hemoglobin a1c where a threshold of 5.7 to 6.4 indicates diabetes and anything above 6.5 indicated uh, sorry uh, pre-diabetes is 5.7 6.4 and above 6.5 uh, is diagnostic of diabetes now a1c basically refers to the stickiness of the red blood cells if the red blood cells are floating in a sugar environment then the a1c is likely to be high now specifically diabetes is diagnosed if you have a, a before uh, breakfast or fasting overnight fasting plasma glucose of 126 milligrams per deciliter uh, or higher or oral glucose tolerance test uh, which is above 200 that's considered diabetic so remember one, if you have any of the risk factors then you can go for lab test to basically confirm the diagnosis uh, so back to our quiz, uh, it was asking us how do we diagnose diabetes mellitus and the answer is A, when your fasting plasma blood glucose is more than 126 milligrams per deciliter, that's considered diabetic. So thank you very much for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Kike Afia. My name is Video Bogo. I'm a medical doctor and specialist in public health medicine. We rely on well wishes to bring you this content and you can support us by sharing, liking or commenting or even subscribe to my YouTube channel. You also support us another way through the NPSA till number 766500 or the mobile number 0720 This is to enable us to reach more viewers. Until next time, bye-bye.